Hi guys, welcome back to Stack Solving. We are still continuing with our Quarkus beginner series, and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to understand the Java Quarkus project file structure and as well as understand uh, the uh, default symbol REST API that is created when we uh, make our first project. So, uh, let's dive into it. We shall create our project using a command line interface. So let's go ahead. So I already have Quarkus CLI installed and by running Quarkus dash version, you can see that I have version 2.9 running. Now let's use the create command from the Quarkus CLI to create a project called first project underscore CLI and that will be our artifact ID and we shall make our group ID com.stacksolving and give it a version 1.0. All these are in the details of command line CLI. Quarkus. So project is creating and it has finished creating successfully. And as you can see, a, fold, a folder has been created for the project. And let's get inside the folder and we can see all the files for Quarkus here. Now that a project has been created, let's now go into the folder and then try and run this project so that we can be sure that it is running fast. And then we go to the next step. So let's cd into fast project CLI. Uh, all files are okay. And now let's run Quarkus dev. This will start the server in dev mode so that we can be able to view the REST API that is created there we we'll access it via uh, localhost port 8080 so the server is starting now Going through this process of starting so that everyone can be on the same page even if you didn't watch previous tutorials so the server has started let's watch it on port 8080 and make sure that it is running well okay there we go so our server is up and running perfectly and uh, let's access our endpoint at hello the default endpoint and there it is everything has been created fine and so our project is configured well and running fine now let's open the file structure and understand it so opening of our project in IntelliJ you can use your default IDE here we expand um, the files so that we can understand them under source main and under java we have this uh, uh, resource that is created uh, uh, the rest api class that is created when we start our project you can see the imports so we have this jar jacks rs resource exposing a, an endpoint at the path slash hello and it's a get endpoint so um there is that uh, the get endpoint produces uh, a media type of type text plane we have very many other uh, types that we can return here but we'll look at that much later on uh, so and when we access this endpoint it will return hello from rest easy so let's change that to hello from first project So that's our default JAX-RS resource file that is created called creating resource.
those are the different types of uh, return types that we can have the produce types for an endpoint so it can be json application json very many others xml and all that we'll look at this as we go on for this let's deal with explain down here we have the resource file which is also very important we'll continue to talk about it later uh, then we have the creating uh, resource test file and so this is a test file and here we test the endpoint make sure that uh, we call at hello and it returns a 200 with that message that is returned from the greeting resource uh, now we need to change uh, that message so that uh, we put in our hello from project from first project so that then our test does not fail Then next we have the pom.xml which is a very important file and this one defines the structure of the project uh, the group ID, the artifact ID, the version as you can see down there we have dependencies down here and as you can see we have uh, default dependencies that come along when we create a project we have the Quarkus arc we shall talk more about this one uh, Quarkus rest, uh, react, rest is reactive as you all know Quarkus is a reactive uh, framework and then we have JUnit which is for testing as well as the uh, the rest assured both of those are for testing down here we have the build configuration and that would be what we have in our pom.xml so uh, let's check our project is still running fine okay so um and when we access the endpoint slash uh, port a, uh, localhost port 880 at hello we can see that it's giving us our hello from first project all right so uh, those are the files that are needed to bring to your attention and uh, since we have live reloading we can change this uh, to hello from first project code io and then uh, also change in our in our test so that it does not fail and once we save without rerunning the project we just go back to the browser and refresh and there we go we have uh, our server has recompiled and so that's the live reloading in java quarkus thank you guys for being here today and uh, see you in the next tutorial please like and subscribe so that you don't miss all the coming tutorials